Hello everybody, Realm Builder Guy here, and welcome back to the channel, and Crusader Kings 3 Al Andalus Achievement Run. You know, I have to thank everybody that's been liking, commenting, subscribing, etc. Of course, as per usual, because, you know, YouTube math, but uh, it really does mean a lot to me that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And I know Let's Play series don't get near the uh, the views that, say, guides and tutorials do for obvious reasons. Most people watch YouTube to learn something um, rather than just entertainment. Learning trumps entertainment, I think, a little bit. Um, I'm kind of a 50-50 guy when it comes to stuff that I watch. Like, I, I love watching uh, Let's Play series, especially on games that I'm interested in playing currently or want to learn more about and then guides tutorials obviously as well so I hope you guys are getting something out of not just the guides and tutorials and history lore type videos I have here on the channel with more to come but that you're also uh, getting something out of this achievement run or at least attempted achievement run so um, looking back, so we've got a few, uh, wars we can declare, of course. The decision still has to be made what direction we want to go. Um, I'm leaning towards the, the Tahirids and the De Jour war we can have there. Um, the Dunids, in, uh, in my opinion, or the... Dununids, Duhunids, whatever, these dudes, Duhunids, Duhunids, yes. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm having an issue pronouncing them when I haven't had any issue pronouncing them so far in the series, but hey, you know, I'm recording this on a Monday, so. Huh. Anyway, uh, if we look at their overall military strength plus allies, we're sitting at mm, 28, 38, 46, still probably about 5,000. 5,200. The Tahirids, you know, we're looking at four, no, probably also about 5,000. So it's it's a toss-up either way. The Aftazids would be the easier target, you know, theoretically. Um, you know, they, they've, either way we go with them, it could work. Uh, but first, let's look internally real quick. Let's, um, Let's take a look at the court, our prisoners. So we have this Abdul. He is, let's see, he's wounded. He's a fornicator. Okay. A holy warrior, skilled tactician. He's lustful. Hmm. I honestly can't see anything. Shake. Uh, so one of our vassals would... Would not be happy. Um, get a weak hook? Sure. We'll just do that. We will keep our vassal happy. Well, let's look in general how things are looking here. Let's see here. Overall, better than it has been. Um... A lot of positives. Who's negative? Suley Hakamit. He's a Faris, but not a vassal. So actually, let's take a look at our vassals. Who hates us? Abu Bakr. He hates us. Anybody else hate us? Mm. I mean, he doesn't really like us. Shuja... Fadl, I mean, it's, it's, it's ish, ish, but let's uh, see if we can sway him. Let's work on improving our relations with him. Then let's see, what else could we do here? Um, See, anybody really like us? I mean, these are our sons, of course. There's really not... Not a ton we can do here. And we'll just keep it as is. We'll try to make him happier, or at least like us. 
and then uh, go on from there. So again, we got to look at where where we can expand into. We have a truce right now with Beha, so uh, definitely not going to be declaring a war there. We could declare a war on the Aftazids, or again, like I said, we go after the Tahirids, weaken the Dahunids' um, allies, and I think weakening their allies so that we can isolate them more and more would be of importance, especially now that we have the Hudids on our side. Let's see. He wants a council position, but he's not really good at anything. Uh, he wants a council position. He's very good at intrigue. But I just as soon... He's a vassal and a friend... Yeah, our son. Let's just leave it as as it is right now. We're going to focus on the task at hand. And the task at hand, let's see, how long mercenaries? How long do we have got 19 months left? So just over a year to complete this conquest before things go south. I think we're going to try that. We're going to raise our army in Granada and take on the Tahirids. Hey, go for broke, right? What's Abad's claims? Yeah, no. De jour. You gain the contested county. Alright, let's declare the war. Raise all armies. Allies. Yeah, we're going to take the Hudids again. That's going to cost us a chunk of prestige, but it'll be okay. It gives us the powerful ally. All right, perfect. Let's see how quickly we can gain power here. We're going to keep this army together. Our commander, I think we're okay there. I'm going to head down here first. First port of call. Of course, I know that Cordoba is a little open uh, on the frontier. But with the Hudids coming into the north, that's at least going to be a distraction. Deft Diplomacy. My Chancellor Wali Aram has worked hard to convince our neighboring realms and vassals that peace treaty I entered with Emir Muhammad of Beha is flawed, illegitimate, and unfair to me. Once again, free to declare war upon him. Fantastic. Thank you so much. First thing first, we're going to focus on this war here. Interesting. They are chasing each other. I mean, if you draw them south to us, we have the superior force. Or, you know, you do that and you get annihilated and you really don't help us much, but it buys us time. Time is key. Uh, here comes here comes some more allies against us. That's okay. All is fair. Many treatises have been written on honorable conduct in war, but those authors' lives weren't on the line when they put pen to paper. We've done this before, right? To ensure victory, I need to seize every advantage I can get on the battlefield, even though that means using tactics which may be considered unfair. So, 60% chance, 100 martial lifestyle and practice manipulative tactics for five years or hit and run. Uh, we'll do the hit and run because we just can't afford uh, the, the other debuffs, as it were. Hey, one of our wives is pregnant. Fantastic. Let's see here. As this siege continues, there comes the large force. They're going straight for Cordoba. And now they're moving back north. So we'll just keep an eye on them. Um, probably get just getting a little bit preoccupied by the Hudids to the north. And so they are serving a purpose for us. Here they come. There comes a large force now. They're going to try to take Granada. Six. Let's see if we can. Okay, perfect. All right, now we are going to go around this way. 
See if we could just send them on a merry chase. Let's keep an eye on them. Okay, they're going to have a battle somewhere here. Hopefully we can get there in time to help that battle. We are not, but we have a semi-equal force-ish. All right, let's keep an eye on this. This, is, this could be huge. And it's not looking good for us. At all. Alright, so... We've broken off the battle. We've retreated. That's okay. Swain Abdul Rahman couldn't quite get there in time for our allies. Just barely not enough time. Oh, another daughter, Kara. Fantastic. All right, we will move them here to Cordoba. Of course, they're going to besiege that, siege it down. Um, let's move back to Granada. We'll move that here. I am going to take some debt now. Let's see. Ugh, that'd be a lot of debt to take. It's It'd be a risk. Do we have any allies coming? There's 300 men coming to the north. And our mercenary contracts are expiring. How much time do we have in our mercenary contracts? Five months. I wonder if we can get down here in time before the contracts expire. So five months, that would put us in, in November. So keep an eye on that. They get the defensive bonuses. Let's see if we can get this in our favor. It's close. We have the man manpower advantage. Still. Barely. It's close. It's really, really close. If our allies can get there soon... Come on. Come on. This is a bloody battle, for sure. Our alliance expired with the Hudids because he died. Son of a gun. But we won the battle. Whew! Man, was that tight. That was super tight. That was way too tight. For my liking. Alright, so... We can call... Allies to war... Spends... Whoa. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So a mercenary company has been dismissed. Now the question is, can we strike fast enough before they recover? Knowing that we are down... Less soldiers winning that super tight battle before they can recover. That's the key here. Four months. It's a race against the clock here. Okay, to the impressive Emir Muhammad Abadit. This is the Almoravids. I have been corresponding with your Chancellor, Wali Aram, and I must say that I have come to see you in a new light. Perhaps even someone that I may one day proudly call a friend. The Almoravids want to be friends? Oh, that's great. All right, we're going to try to do something else here real quick. Let's see. Who can we get on our side? The Aftazids... Magravids. 
Alicante. Can we get a matrilineal marriage with any of these guys? I mean, we can get claims here on the Almarids. Uh, not looking good. Mugravids. It's North Africa, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see. See how long that lasts. But we could get a strong North African ally. Perfect. It would cost us 150 prestige. But I believe it's worth it at this point. See, Welling Najib, we can ransom him for 30. We will definitely do that. So we're going to take a pretty big prestige hit here, but I'm okay with it because we do um, increase our prestige pretty regularly and at a pretty good rate. So they're just moving around the territory. Their force is smaller than ours. And they have not begun to besiege yet. So again, you know, I, I decided to go with the pragmatic, not care about the ick factor <laughs> in, you know, um, getting my daughter to marry someone significantly older, doing it for the betterment of the realm. But getting an, a strong North African ally is very, very good, um, even though I don't see him anywhere in this war so far. There we go. 100 war score. We took a prisoner. Perfect. Alright, who can we uh, ransom for 25 gold? Okay. Ransom for 25 gold. Ransom for 100 gold. Perfect. And now it is time to enforce the demand. So be it. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Gained a ton of money. We can disband all of our troops. Okay. Realm will lose land when Vassal dies. Who's the heir? Ah, the Tahirids. Okay, revoke the title. Shechtum of Almeria. Tyranny. Your subjects lose 20. Pressed claim. 11% chance he might accept. I mean, we have it. Um, so that's that's kind of the title we need to keep an eye on because they will inherit it. I mean, the best way to do this is to revoke the title. If we take away that title, uh, that would be the best way to go it. I mean, if we kill him, I quit doing that. If we kill him, the heir will be the Zereeds. If he dies, he inherits. That is the line of succession. Hmm. <laughs> 
Convert faith. I'm not too worried about that. Revoke the title. Again, 10% chance. It's not, you know, rise up with other disgruntled vassals. It's tyranny. On decline. Sheikh Abdul Rahman will join. And it might be one worth doing. I mean, I, I hate having that over our head that we may lose that, but we're not really in a position right now. You can create the Kingdom of Andalusia. What do we need for that? We need the gold and the prestige. We will get to the gold. So we are close to being able to declare the Kingdom of Andalusia. That is really cool. All right, so we're getting there. Okay, so we can uh, give her a guardian. So diplomacy is her best attribute. Oh, our wife. Fantastic. So again, I'm, I'm cognizant of the fact that we have an issue here. Uh, but I feel like the time right now is not ideal. A new Marshall Park. Strict organization, so increase count, uh, control and county progress gain by 20%. Or Army Gold Maintenance minus 15%. Friendly Territory Levy Reinforcement Rate plus 100. Let's just finish this line down, and then we can go down this line and finish all that up. So, yeah. And so the, the thing here is... When he dies, our vassal will inherit this, which means we will lose this to that. So again, that war would then be, I'm not going to say pointless, but it's definitely something we need to be aware of. Um, and again, we need to get the prestige up. That's the key one here. Uh, prestige gain goes above everything else at this point. Because we want to create the Kingdom of Andalusia. As we see, Castile is falling apart. Leon is here. Galicia is here. Navarra over here. So they're falling apart a little bit. So that's good to know. Uh, let's see. Our half-sister is again available for marriage. So let's just hit pause here. Who could we get? Uh, it's North Africa. Any good matrilineal marriages? Hmm. 17 year old with claims on the Amirid Emirate. I mean, the trait, you know, albino. <laughs> but this is our half sister. If we could get that claim into the family, I wonder. Or this one, hail. Or not worry about it and just use her as a pawn. Emirate of Tagat. Where is that? Oh gosh, that's way Central Africa. Shiktum of Madrid. Of course, that's right in the middle of the Tahunids. And he has claims. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's a problem there. Doesn't give us an alliance that's overly advantageous. Um Just gonna wait a little bit. Just wait a little bit. See if we have anybody else we can marry off. Ten year old. Do I have anything else listed here? No. Albino. 
delicate. I'm trying to see if we can find someone with a good trait that actually also helps us. Alliance is expired with the Magravids. Okay, well, that means um, and since it was before marriage, Sheikh Abdul Rahman has been swayed further. She's free to marry again. Let's see who <laughs> who can we send her to next. The Aftasits. We could neutralize the Aftasits. Is it matrilineal by chance? No. But again, we've got plenty of other kids. If we can neutralize the Aftasits, that may not be bad. This is just being betrothed to all these old dudes. But it gives us an alliance, because I'm not really worried about expanding here right now. My expansion goals are significantly more in this area. So keeping them on our side, especially as a buffer to uh, the Christians to the north, would be a huge advantage, in my opinion. Again, Andalusia, we're close to the goal. We have the Dejour counties, the prestige. We need to see what we can do to bump up our prestige a little bit more here. Can we go on a hunt again? No. Can't go on a hunt for about two more years. We could go on a Hajj. Hajj gives us 875 piety. Um, we could host a feast, drop stress, increase vassal opinion. Okay, far from home. A stranger is brought before me. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege, my guard, informs me. The man bows deeply. My name is Giovanni, your highness. I have traveled far and wide and seen many things, but I am weary of the road. If you allow me to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. Embrace Allah, and this will be your home. Perfect. So a feast, what that'll help is a little reduced stress. We don't really have an issue there. Vassal opinion grows. We could do that. I do like the idea of going on a hajj. It'll cost 315 gold. But the prestige is the one that we need. Um, and the hunt is the one that would be able to do that the quickest. So we'll just have to keep an eye on the situation. Um, it, you know, on the one hand, I'm like, ah, it'd be worth investing right now in the infrastructure because we have a long way to go to before we get to that prestige level. Anyway, the walls of Granada. The delegation from Granada slowly files out of my private chambers, our long meeting finally over. The petitioners beg for money to repair the crumbling walls of the holding and have invoked my lordly duty to help them. Um, I drum my fingers on the table, pondering whether to send them funds. Good fortifications are hideously expensive. Of course, if the walls are crumbling anyway, I could always divert the existing stipend to more personal matters. I have duty to care for my subjects. Professionally rebuilt walls. Port level plus one. It costs 90. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I mean, we have the money. There's no point in not doing it. Um, trying to think of ways... Guardian for Salma. So Salma... You know, let's actually change her... Oh, she's, that's the red we won't do. Let's go with stewardship. So let's do... Salma, stewardship... It's not really great ones here. Oh, the wife can do it. Focus on that. 
Attorney Troubles, we're back to this. As usual. As Emira, I have been obliged to attend a local sparring tournament. But the contestants have been delayed. The tourney won't start for at least another hour. Looking around, I notice my friend Sheikh Abd Al Aziz sitting under a nearby pavilion, clearly bored halfway to death. On the other hand, this could be a good opportunity to eavesdrop on the conversations of other attendees. Spent some time with Abd Al Aziz under the pavilion. He's my best friend. Something else? Nah, we'll, we'll do that. We're already friends. The Way of the Mace. The endless clash of metal on metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. is a dance that is as familiar as it is exhausting. To lift my mace, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would be good would do me good to practice my skills with another weapon. Me and my trusted mace will not part. So we become respected experts with plus two prowess. End them on me and hand me another weapon. 70% chance. Hey, we gained 75 in prestige and 100 martial lifestyle experience. Very nice. So we're in the positive here. We still have an incredibly long way to go. Uh, but right now, because the beauty is if we get, if we're able to get to the point where we can found the, uh, create the kingdom of Andalusia. That gives us a huge amount of du jour territory. Um, if we look at that here, uh, I mean, that's, we've got Barajos, Aragon, Valencia, but that gives us a lot of du jour claims, which is also, of course, very important. Uh, Sway, a misunderstanding. It seems that my diplomatic overtures towards Sheikh Abdurrahman have caused a major misunderstanding. I have received a letter which makes it clear that he thinks I have been pursuing a different goal entirely. I am your vassal, for Allah's sake. You don't need to read on to get to the point. Big misunderstanding. Great. Well, that's annoying. Ah, oh, we had a... The Aftazit died. Uh, one of our wives is pregnant. So our one daughter is free to marry again. All right, let's see. Let's see who we can hook her up with next. <laughs> Ooh, the Hamadids. Mm. Nice North African one. Then we've got Alicante, cousin. Emirate of Valencia claims on the Dahunids. Is that a matrilineal possible? No. Yeah, bummer. Uh, let's see. Where were the North Africans? I think that would be fantastic. Always want to keep uh, an ally in North Africa because you never know that. And they're a pretty decent one as well, the Hamadids, because it could help against the Almoravids if they ever become difficult. Let's put it that way. Um, I think right now we are good to go for now. Uh, we cannot... Go on a hunt yet. Well, let's at least move forward a little bit. Uh, and, and the Hajj is something I'd love to do, but at this point, it is all about forming the kingdom of Andalusia because of the du jour claims we will get. And then we can start gobbling up our neighbors more and more and more. Plus, we will be able to get more important or more powerful allies. I mean, maybe the Almoravids right now are in a bit of a war that they are winning. Uh, they're losing one of them, but I'm pretty sure they're going to win it. Um, but that would be an excellent route to go. So I think right now we're going to pause it here. End today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Check out all the links down in the description. And subscribe if you're new to not miss anything else. I am Realm Builder Guy, and I'll talk to you soon.